Berlin German brings back bunkers and fortifications, one of which is the tank turret bunker, or Panther Term. I made a Panther Term construction project video way back in 2017, just before the first birthday of the channel. The plan was just to post a link to that video, but I decided I wanted to include the version 4 rules as well. So I dug into my backups and pulled out the old project. The video and audio were not great, particularly the audio, but I've recut it and added the updated rules. Everything else is original, tweaked as best I can. Oh, and I also mispronounced Yagpanther in the original audio. Sorry! I built the Jag Panther for my tank skirmish game starter set, which left me with an upper hull and turret for a panther I wasn't using. I hate wasting plastic, so I thought maybe I could find a use for these parts, and I decided to make a panther term. A panther term is a panther tank turret mounted on a steel or concrete base which can be buried, and creates a bunker with good armour and strong anti-armour punch. These were widely used in Italy as part of the Gothic line and other fortifications to slow down the Allied advance. The Italian terrain was well suited to this sort of defence. In this photo from the Imperial War Museum collection you can see the Panther term has been placed in a commanding position to control this valley. These haven't even been dug into position, just dropped on the ground. This captured Panther term is being inspected by General Alexander in Italy in 1944. Panther terms were also used in the defence of Berlin, being dug into streets and crossroads to try and stop Soviet tanks from taking the city. As you can see from these pictures, these bunkers saw a lot of action. They had a low silhouette making them hard to spot, and they had good armour and a hard-hitting gun. Older turrets, or turrets taken from damaged tanks, were used to build these emplacements. In some cases, in the closing stages of the war, Entire damaged panthers were towed into holes and buried until just their turret was visible. So I've got my turret. This is a Panther G turret, with late coupler and extra chin armour on the mantlet. Most panther terms used older turrets, and often the coupler was removed and replaced with a simple hatch. However, late versions did use this type of turret and some retained their coupler, so we're okay here. I'm making a Berlin panther term. These were often dug into roads and pavements, so I'm going to use some cobblestones to mount it on. These are some plastic cobblestones from a train scenery manufacturer that I bought years ago and never used. They'll come in handy here. I used a saw to cut the sheet to fit onto a large base. This is a laser cut MDF large base from Back to Basics. I find these very useful for terrain bases. After trimming to size, I use PVA to glue the cobblestones to the base. I cut the centre section of the spare panther hull out to form the platform of the turret. This means I still have all the mounting parts for the turret ensuring a good fit. Again I used a saw. My cuts were rubbish but some sanding let me even them up a bit. The platform is only just larger than the turret and this is sort of big enough. I assembled the turret as normal. At the moment I haven't fitted the mounting peg underneath but once I glue the mounting to the base I'll drill a hole in the base to accept the peg. The mounting glues onto the cobbles with plastic cement. To be totally realistic, I should probably cut out a bunch of the cobblestones in this section and mount the turret in this hole. I didn't want to spend the time, but if you do this, it will be much more convincing. Initially, I tried model filler. This helped, but it didn't give the dugout earth feeling I was looking for. One of the texturing materials I use is watered down DAS modelling clay. When mixed with water the clay becomes a paste which can be applied to terrain and bases to give a realistic earthy texture. DAS is sold in blocks in most craft and hobby stores. This is the end result. This is much closer to the effect I was looking for. I've also included some debris to break up the earth texture. This was just a matchstick cut into small pieces with a hobby knife. Once it's painted, it'll look like cobblestones and other material left over from the excavation to bury the panther term. Make sure you keep the turret path free of clay and debris so it still turns freely. 
give Desk Clay a try if you give this project a go yourself. So that's the Panther term constructed. One day I'll get around to painting this. The turrets used as bunkers were a variety of colours and camo schemes depending on where they'd come from. Some even had tactical markings and turret numbers. Battlefront have an actual Panther term kit with a great looking base. This is the page for it on their website. The Blood on the Streets mission in Berlin, German gives the defender fortifications. For every 25 points in the attacker's force, the defending player gets 4 points of fortification, plus a minefield, street barricade, and a barbed wire entanglement. There's even a handy chart to work out the force's points ratio and fortifications, as well as on-table forces and reserves. One of the things you can buy with fortification points are tank turret bunkers. You get the option for a Panzer IV turret, or a panther. Turret bunkers are treated slightly differently to a concrete emplacement. The rules on page 105 in the Berlin German book state that turret bunkers are treated as tank teams when hit by shooting or an assault. This means hits are resolved against the turret bunker's armour rating. Panther terms have a front armour of 9, side 5 and top 2. Since they're treated as tank teams, I presume this means turret bunkers don't require the attacker to re-roll firepower tests the same way you must for a concrete bunker. Maybe we'll see that clarified in a future Lessons from the Front at some stage. Remember it's immobile, so the enemy has to come to it. You can use this to control an avenue of approach on the table, or to defend a key objective. It can take some punishment, but don't leave it on its own. The turret needs some support to make sure it isn't flanked. Because it doesn't have a hull, front and side arcs are determined by the turret's facing. Hits on the turret are treated like tank combat, with the bunker making an armour save against the firer's AT rating just like a tank team. Even if you can't find a way to field them, they'd always make an interesting objective marker for the table. Anyway, that's the panther term made from spare parts from Battlefront's plastic panther kit. If you've built some Jag Panthers, maybe you should try this. That's the 2023 version 4 update of my old Panther Term video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.